Um, so this is my essay. In school we are told of war, of battles fought, won or lost. Textbooks and teachers tell you of death and destruction. They teach you that our soldiers deserve our appreciation and honor because they fight for our liberties. Yet they don't talk about what it means to be shipped away from everything you have ever known, to watch as your brothers and sisters in arms fall, and to return to a place where few understand what it truly means to be at war. In school we are not told of the rows of crosses, standing white and plain in the day, keeping guard over the lands upon which the soldiers sacrifice their lives. There are 53,486 soldiers that guard Manila, 10,956 that keep Sicily, and 10,944 that watch over Normandy. We are not told of living in the trenches, blood and mud, of being trapped on the battlefield with the corpses of our comrades. We do not know what it is like to charge with an, into a nearly suicidal battle to uphold the freedom and independence of people we do not know. In school, they teach us the facts, not the feelings. They do not teach us about grief, fear, desperate hope, or fierce protection. They do not teach us that the war does not end when you come home because soldiers can remember the pain and the violence after their return. We do not know that there are more disfigurements a person can suffer than physical mutilations and our estimated 460,000 Iraq and Afghanistan veterans suffer from PTSD or depression. We are not told that war can drive so many into fear and desperation, into solitude and violence. I appreciate America's veterans not just because they put their lives at risk to uphold our freedom, liberty, and pursuit of happiness, as well as freeing those who are oppressed, but because they do so much more. They leave their families and their homes to go to a distant land to fight a war. They make brothers and sisters knowing that love forged in blood and fire can turn into suffocating grief in a heartbeat. Our veterans not only risk their lives and bodies, but their minds and their love. I not only appreciate my veterans, but honor them for their sacrifices that uphold our freedom, liberty, and pursuit of happiness. wonderful. Um, for those of you who are in, next year will be in seventh or eighth grade. I don't think there might be anybody here that will be going to sixth grade, but anyhow, <laughs> there is someone? Good. Uh, uh, there will be an essay due next year, so we hope...